to you, IGL. What happened here? Uh, it was a miss on EBITDA. The EBITDA per unit is much lower than what the street was working with. And surprisingly, MGL reported numbers day before yesterday and it was an EBITDA beat. Uh, so, looks like it is the same story again for city gas distribution companies as well. Uh, the volumes, they are in line with what the street was working with. Let me take you through the numbers. The revenues are up 3% on a sequential basis, but the EBITDA is down 14%. It was expected to decline, but it is more than what the street was working with. Margins at 15.9% and profits are down 27%. The EBITDA per SCM or the EBITDA per unit has come in at 7.2 rupees per unit. Uh, the poll was of 8.5 rupees per unit, so it's a big decline there. The total volumes at 8.48 mm SCMD is in line with estimates of 8.5 mm SCMD. Now, why is this EBITDA number disappointing? Because it's the lowest that we've seen in last three quarters. This is because of lower APM gas allocation that IGL got. But again, it's surprising because MGL did a beat on margins and IGL did not, and it is more expensive than MGL in terms of valuations. Uh, trades at around 20 times, MGL trades at around 13 times. Uh, so that's why this big disappointment and the stock is at the lows of the day. Okay, thank you very much for that. Dipan Mehta, Director at Elixir Equity. Thanks for tuning in to CNBC TV 18 and for more news and updates, follow us on all the social media platforms.